A pastor carrying a weapon in his church, and it might have saved his life. Deputies say a maintenance worker, Benjamin Paranam Jr., started shooting when the minister tried to fire him from his job at the church. Now, the pastor wasn't hit. He was shot, uh, shot back, and he shot back with his own gun. Now, the worker is in stable condition, and now he is charged with aggravated assault with intent to kill. Both of the men had concealed carry weapons or concealed permits to carry weapons there. Um, here's some of the 911 call. It's my dad. I don't know if he's okay. It's my dad. I don't know if he's okay. Please hurry. Please hurry. We are. We're, we're sending help. We're sending help. He's What's upstairs. your name? He's upstairs in the office. Oh, boy. Well, let's talk about this with Jennifer Brandt. She's a family law attorney and Michael Gottlieb, also a trial attorney. So, again, both of the men had permits to carry concealed weapons. The, the children, thankfully, were not hit. Uh, some parents were there. I think the children were uh, all gone at the time. It's my understanding. I may have that wrong, but the point is that no children were injured. What's so your take on this? I mean, can parents, do they, <clears throat> pardon me, have the right to find out if someone at a school has a permit to carry a concealed weapon where their children will be? Well, clearly there's, there's a concern when people are, are carrying guns on, on school grounds, but the guns in this case by both men were legally carried, and that's permissible in the state of Florida. Whether it's questionable taste, it's questionable morals to carry a gun at a school with children, but it also in this case seemed to defend the pastor against the disgruntled employee. So it seemed to be a necessary measure. Who knows what the employee may have done later had he, after he killed the pastor, if he, if he was going to go that far. So it does sound like it's something that's potentially necessary. So quickly, and I want to move to another subject. The pastor is not dead, thankfully. Um, the pastor was shot at. This this uh, maintenance worker is charged with, or uh, excuse me, the pastor is is uh, pleading self-defense. It, it hasn't gone to trial yet, but he's saying it's going to be right. self-defense. That's why he shot this maintenance worker who shot at him. Is that a strong argument, Michael? Yeah, it's a very strong argument. There were several witnesses. He's a disgruntled employee. He's about to be fired. They all saw him shoot several times at the pastor. It's a classic self-defense case. I'd be shocked if he even gets charged with the crime. So you both know that jury selection begins Monday in the trial of the surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombing. That's after the judge turned down a request by Zokar Sanayev's attorney to delay the start. They wanted more time for an appeal and wanted to move the trial out of Massachusetts. Uh, the judge said, no, this trial is starting come Monday. Okay, so, Michael, what do you say? So what if the appeals uh, court comes back and says, no, you actually can have a, a change of venue. You can move this trial out of uh, Massachusetts. Yeah. You know, the question is really, is there a venue in the United States, let alone the world, that has not heard about the Boston bombing? I mean, I, I just don't think that moving it is, is going to necessarily aid the defense at this point in time, and, that, and that's unfortunate. But everybody's heard of it, and the people who haven't, do we really want them as jurors? The question is, can we seat a fair and impartial jury? And that's what the judge said. The judge said, I've got measures in place. I'm going to find a fair and impartial jury. I've got 1,200 people coming in, and the question's really not ripe yet. If the people who are called in to be jurors say they can't be fair and impartial, then you can seek a change in venue. The motion is a little untimely at this point in time. Michael Gottlieb, Jennifer Brandt, thanks to both of you. We'll leave it there. Thank you.